Hi folks, it's Rich here. It's been a while, isn't it? How are we doing? It's a new guitar day. First of all, a few things. Number one, I'm a guest, I'm a novice guitarist. When I plug it in and do some stuff, it'll be a bit crap. It's okay. Number two, this is my 120th guitar. Let's take a moment to think about that. Yeah. So, at least I've got things to compare it to, and I've had a few of these as well. And uh, what else? Number three, today's video is sponsored by Puma. Not really. I just wear my Puma hoodie a lot when I'm at home, working from home, so that's what we do. It's also sponsored by Philips Sonicare toothbrushes. Not really. Look here. This is what happens when you try and open your mouth and speak when you've got a toothbrush in your mouth. Toothpaste everywhere. Stupid me. Anyway, those are the formalities. So what have we got in my hand? This is a vintage V100. So what do we know about vintage guitars? They make copies of all sorts of things. They've been around a while. Their hardware is renowned for being made by Trev Wilkinson. And they're quite often pitted up against things like an Epiphone, aren't they? Now, I've had a few of these. The first vintage V100 I had was a second-hand one. It was a tobacco burst, and it was lovely. And it weighed a ton, but it was fine. It was second-hand. There's no QC issues. It's all good. Next one I had was not so good. The next one I had, which was new, was the... Um, Joe Bonamassa type one, which you'll have seen on some of my other videos. If not, go and check out the click the link here. There isn't a link, I don't know how to do it. Uh, that had tone knobs that didn't really do a fat lot. The binding had a lip about halfway down on the neck, which was annoying. So it had to go. It's just the way it is. So I've had a vintage V6 Thomas Blug, uh, blah, 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 signature strat, which was fabulous. What else have I had? I've had a vintage V52, which is a Classic vibe type telly. That was second hand. Had a few little issues, but they might not have been from new. So the takeaway for vintage, good stuff, often QC issues. But what about this one? Well, we'll have a little look. Let me come closer to you. This is a 2011, I guess, from my serial number. I don't know vintage serial numbers all that well. First thing to tell you, this is weight relieved. This is probably a bit lighter or maybe similar to the Strat that I've got. So it's weight relief. So that's nice, isn't it? It's got your Wilkinson tuners on it. And I've got to tell you, these feel pretty stiff, but not too stiff. They feel very sure of themselves. Better than the tuners on first impression on my Classic Vibe Strat. So we like that, don't we? Well done, Vintage. Headstock, unoffensive. Nice and plain. Head angle, not quite as much as some Epiphones and Gibsons. And the net profile on this is pretty slim. It's like a slim D. Very nice to get your hand around there. Now, this one has come from a guitar tech. So it's second, obviously second hand. So the frets have been polished within an inch of their lives and really are good. They have been crowned, leveled, flattened and loved. The action is perfect. The binding on this looks really nice. It's all from that point of view. Can't go wrong now. It's ebony, it's black, it's got some finger marks on it and lots of swirly little uh, you know, little marks from its age, but not bad by any stretch. The binding all the way around, there are no blemishes or crappy points on it, which you get a lot with QC on guitars these days. Harley Benton's are good at binding, that's a bit iffy. So those, all those things are really good. The, the guy was at pains to say on the advert, it's got the AB, ABR1 type stop tail bridge which is supposed to be more 50s true. No idea. Just looks like, I don't know, it looks pretty similar to any other type of bridge where it's not wrapped round. Not regular strap buttons. Old school square heel. Some of the newer vintage ones have the make it a bit easier to get up to higher frets. So I guess this is a bit more true. Uh, all the vintage guitars have got a bit of a pointy horn. Pointy horn. Uh, they have to, obviously, so they don't get done for copyright infringement. So, yes. Nice easy neck. No, it's a gloss neck, but, mm, you know, it doesn't feel excessively tacky. I suppose if your hands get a bit sweaty or if it's a bit damp, it probably will be. But that's just the nature of them. The, the, the nut on these is a graphite nut. That's a standard thing you get. Notice the little tip switch is missing off here. So I've got to get another one of those. But the very first thing, so as you know, these, these videos from one novice to maybe another out there is about, is it easy to play? Is it the guitar that you would want? If you're a beginner, would you want to buy one? All those kind of things. Now, 
you can get these vintage guitars secondhand for like 150, 200, something like that. You get a secondhand Epiphone of similar quality is going to cost you 300 really, or even 350. As guitar prices go up and up and up, so you're paying less. But are you getting the same guitar? Well, it depends, doesn't it? An Epiphone has got more heritage. Oh, hey up, hey up. Something bad's gone on here. Cable's got stuck under the other guitar. Come here, cable. So, guess where was I? Where was I? The shape isn't exactly the same as an Epiphone or a Gibson. It's not allowed to be. Jack plug. So you get. So there's that. You, depending on which vintage you get, sometimes they have Grovers and sometimes they have these old tulip ones. But you get the same thing on the Epiphone, don't you? So a lot of it comes down to sort of the playability and what the pickups sound like and do you like the guitar? So let's let's have a little plug in, shall we? Yeah. Take the root. Oh, look at belly. That was going. It's coming back. Too many pies. So. What amp am I using? I am using a Vox AV15. This is on a clean channel. So let's, important things first. Do the bloody tone knobs work? It drives me nuts when they're not very effective. Right, this is on the net pickup. It's on the clean channel. Let's turn the gain down a little bit. Tone all the way up. Let's go to half. Let's go all the way off. Up a bit. A bit more. Yeah. yeah, that works okay. A little bit top, middle and bottom really, I suppose. But we'll, yeah, at least it does do something. Uh, bridge, tone all the way up. About half. responsive maybe or is it about the same so anyway the tone knobs work and the volume knobs definitely work as well good good we like this so Treble and mid are all on 12 o'clock. Actually, the bass is a bit less than 12 o'clock. So, yeah, yeah. What else is on here?
fat sounding. Which is what humbuggery goodness should be, shouldn't it really? Yes, you've guessed it, crunchy. Actually, let's not do it like that. That was with a pedal. It sounds fucking terrible. Let's do it with the actual overdrive. Turn that down. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> No delay. Racket, racket, racket. <laughs> so what to say, what to say, what to say. I always think vintage guitars are worth looking at. I've had, like I said, I've had a few of them, I've had lots to compare it to. They, yeah, if you, if you look past the QC, or if you've got some QC issues and you can get them fixed, get them fixed. I think they're a, a great guitar for the money. So this particular one's weight relieved, so that's helpful. If you get one that isn't, they do weigh a ton. But hey, does that matter? Unless you're a frail old man, which you might be. And if you are, I'm sorry for those who are frail old men. But if you're not, then it's good. So, Vintage V100. Let me know if you've got one or had one and what you think of them. Mm, yeah, I'd be interested. And for anyone who's had an Epiphone and a Vintage like this, the same as me, what do you think of those? Yeah, actually, that's a good question. If they were the same money, would I have a Vintage or would I have an Epiphone? Mm. Now, there's a question. There is a question. When you see other people who put these two up together, most of them prefer the sound of the pickups in these. Tough one. Let me know what you think. Rich, out. <laughs>